Today, we're talking about the sharpest Fujifilm lens that I own, the Fujinon 90mm f2. What's up guys, Reggie B Photo here and welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Reggie Ballesteros and I'm a wedding photographer based in the San Francisco Bay Area. Okay, so I'm gonna come clean. While the 90mm f2 is probably one of the sharpest non-macro lenses that Fujifilm makes, it's actually the least used lens in my wedding and portrait photography kit. For my photography style, I personally gravitate toward wide angle lenses, even for portraiture. And for my telephoto needs, the 56mm 1.2 is definitely my go-to lens. With that said, the 90mm f2 is still an integral and necessary part of my photography kit. So instead of going over tech specs or sharpness tests like all the other reviews for this lens, in today's video I'm going to go over the 5 reasons why I still keep the 90mm f2 in my lens lineup. So the first reason is reach. Since I have an all prime lens kit, the 90mm f2 is actually the longest lens that I own with a full frame equivalent of about 135 millimeters. For event photography where I can't get in too close, the 90mm f2 comes in clutch, letting me capture intimate moments of larger wedding ceremonies or church ceremonies with space restrictions and receptions where I want to stay on the outskirts of the space of the venue. The second reason is for compression. Compression is basically when the background and foreground look closer together and larger, aka it's compressed. And this is super useful for composition purposes where you want to intentionally include some context and it also helps to get a smooth and pleasing background effect that's different than the 56mm 1.2. It does look a little cleaner or some people like to describe it as sterile but I do like the circular shape of the bokeh that it creates. Okay, next is the autofocus. If I'm ever in a situation where I need to use a telephoto lens and need fast, consistent, and reliable autofocus, the 90mm f2 will almost always beat out the 56mm 1.2. So I typically like to shoot wide open for wedding photography in general, but for bright outdoor ceremonies that need me to stop down the 56mm 1.2 all the way down to f2 anyways, I'll gladly switch out to the 90mm f2 and take advantage of its fast and consistent autofocus. It handles wedding procession photos with ease, and it can even take on sports photography if you have a predictable subject distance that doesn't require zooming in and out all the time. The fourth reason is pretty obvious. The 90mm f2 is extremely sharp. It is a detail monster. It's my workhorse lens when it comes to taking detailed photos on the wedding day, the cake, the flowers, the decorations, you name it. And it's also really great for taking product shots like I do for my YouTube video thumbnails. Okay, so the fifth and last reason is its close focus and high magnification. The 90mm f2 is my second go-to lens for ring shots next to the 56mm 1.2 when it's paired with the 16mm extension tube. For ring shots, when I want to pull back a little bit and include more context, the 90mm f2 really delivers on this. So if you're like me and you like a lens that can get up close, the 90mm f2 lets you do it without having to buy a dedicated macro lens or any type of extension tube. So I'm curious to hear from you guys. Do you guys own or want the 90mm f2? If so, what do you use this lens for? And if this video helped you make your decision and you're looking to add the 90mm f2 to your kit, I've got links down in the description below to purchase this lens so you can support the channel at no additional cost to you. Okay, so now it's time for your input and requests. Let me know down in the comments below which Fujifilm lens you'd like me to review next. And please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already as I make a new Fujifilm photography video every week. And if that's too long, please follow me on Instagram at, at @reggiebphoto as I post new tips, tricks, and tutorials throughout the week. All right, that's it for me. Remember to get out, go shoot, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.